Right, so I thought I'd update you on the last 24 hours or so. Um, it has been the most emotionally draining and overwhelming 24 hours of our lives and um, we were debating whether to do a video on it. Obviously when something real and something intense happens the last thing you're going to do is grab a vlog camera but um, we felt that it was the right thing to do to film a video now that things are a bit more stable just to update you guys. So. For the last couple of days, Daisy, who, for anyone that's new to the channel, we have a three-week-old baby called Daisy. Um, Daisy was unsettled and crying, um, which obviously isn't that uncommon because she's a newborn baby and that's what they do. But there was something about it which was different, her, her behaviour was changing and they say that as a parent you know the different cries and that may be true or may not be true for this situation, but it felt to me like her cry had changed, it was something different. Um, she'd feed, but she would get off and start crying. She couldn't really settle with feeding, and then as soon as she was finished feeding, she'd just be crying, and um, nothing would settle her. Um, and that went on, and then yesterday, I think it was yesterday, um, around five o'clock, it just kept going on, and she... It felt hot, so we we had a um, thermometer and we tested it and she was running a fever and we looked online and it said like if she's running at this temperature it can be an emergency so cool. Um, so we called 111 and spoke to them, did a few questions and very quickly they came to the conclusion that they need to send an ambulance out. So yesterday about 7 o'clock an ambulance came out for Daisy. Um, they came and they were amazing and, and so kind and kind of reassured us and they're doing different tests with Daisy and as this was going on she was getting more and more angry, more and more um, just overwhelmed, just screaming, just going bright red and one of the tests they did was for the breathing and it was then where things really started to change and they just weren't happy with the way that she was breathing so they put her in the ambulance and rushed her off. Um, I followed behind, Ebony was in the ambulance um, which is just the most uh, you just can't put into words what that feels like it's the most surreal experience in the world um, and, and Ebony did amazing I don't you know I was following I don't know how you sit with a baby your baby screaming for 15 minutes or 20 minutes in an ambulance um, but when I finally got there and met them and um, they were in recess and she was on this table and there's wires everywhere and um, they'd, they'd put something in her hand because they were getting blood out and they put something up her nose to try and get some of the gunk out and um, the doctors were amazing, everyone was amazing but it was just it was just so, I'm going to keep using the word overwhelming because it's just, it's something you, I just, you don't you don't know how to deal with I mean you're, you're a parent and, and she's so helpless and you can't do anything um, but the doctors were amazing and they were chatting us through and they thought there was something to do with her lungs that night I had to leave, Ebony stayed in hospital with Daisy and she was more settled, she had some pain relief um, and the next day obviously Emily got two three hours um, which was great and I came in and then Emily had uh, a couple of hours of sleep in um, but then the results came back in the day before they tested the kind of gunk they'd got out of her nose um, thinking that it would be something that would say it was a viral infection um, and it didn't come back that way so the moment they came back things shifted again and they then got worried that it could be meningitis and so she had to have a lumbar puncture, I think it's what it's called, which is a big needle into the spine, um, and which is amazing, it's a great thing to do and, and from when they said that it was about 20 minutes and she was getting it done but again is that feeling of feeling so hopeless when you've got to give your baby up and you know she's going to be in pain and even though you can tell yourself over and over again that she's going to remember it, or not going to remember it that doesn't have, it doesn't change anything um, so this was today now and she we did the test and she came back and she was obviously in flood of tears um, but we settled her and she fed and she was a bit better and we were just waiting now for the results for if she had meningitis um, which this afternoon was just the scariest in a couple of hours um, 7, 8 o'clock came and they came round and they said that she didn't have meningitis which was amazing from what 
I think they said, they don't know exactly what it is, but they think it's a certain type of infection which the antibiotics she's on was going to help with. Um, she's going to be in hospital for a little while. Um, she's obviously not well, she's still spiking with temperatures, but it feels now that it's a place where she is stable and they're not too worried apart from just wanting to monitor every couple of hours. We put real life on the internet, which is amazing, but sometimes life can get really, really real. Um, but the reason I think it's so amazing and so important is because we posted a few things on Instagram today and the response was just amazing. From people just wishing us well, just saying that they're thinking about us, to people that are living close by saying if there's anything we could, they could do to help. And the amount of messages we got from people that had gone through something similar. Like for every bad point that social media has, and it has a lot, there's this ability to create this community, um, which is just amazing. And our tiny tribe, I truly believe, is becoming that. And I want to thank everyone for the messages that you sent today. Um, and yeah, so this video is going to be maybe this, maybe it's, we filmed a few bits on our phone just for our own memories that we might chuck in. Um, I'm just going to, from this moment, try and document a little bit. Um, I don't know how it's going to end up. Um, but we just wanted to get a little bit of this chapter of our lives down and out so you can see it um, because you've been following this journey and it didn't feel right to kind of stop here but um, I'm shattered. I'm sure Ebony's even more tired. Well, I know she is. Um, so I'm going to try and get an early night and then go back to hospital in the morning and that's it. So, um, yeah. Really spoken to you guys because I have been in the hospital for a couple days as David's told you but we are in the car and Daisy is next to us and we're going home and I am so 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 happy about it I was hoping that we'd be able to go home today because um did you tell them that she got checked for meningitis so the test came back negative for meningitis and once we got that result I was so relieved um, because obviously we were quite worried when they tested for that and it wasn't very nice um, but it came back negative so she is on antibiotics just in case and we have to take her back to the doctors tomorrow to get her next dose of antibiotics but because she's just on one dose a day yeah so we're happy, we're going home. I cannot wait to change clothes and have a shower. I haven't washed my hair since Monday and it's now Friday. <laughs> That's pretty gross, but I'm happy. And Little Bug is getting better, which is nice. She's got this little bandage. Is that called an IV? I think it's called an IV. I it was called a cannula. Oh, a cannula. Is wait, a isn't that the wee tube? No, I get confused. Oh, catheter and a cannula. Whatever this is, she's got this in so that tomorrow they can put ant the antibiotics back in. But it makes her look so poorly. Her poor little hand. All wrapped up in a bandage. She's got a dried tear on her face as well. <laughs> Bless her. She's like, welcome to parenthood, guys. Feels like three weeks ago when we brought her home for the first time. Ready, Daisy? Hi Till Bear! Oh Tilly, I bet you've been so worried. Yeah. I missed you! I did! I did! Because Valentine's Day was spent in the hospital, we did not celebrate and I didn't have David's card in the hospital. But I got one from Daisy to give to David and it says, I... Oh. It says I love you almost as much as I love chips. I'm gonna cross out the chips and write boobs <laughs> because she loves the boob and she loves milk. Maybe I'll put milk. No, boob. I don't think she loves anything more than she loves boob. Much better. Hi. We've got our baby home. And it feels so nice. 
She's got a jumper on that's about three times too big because <laughs> it's the only thing that goes over her bandage thing. But it's so nice to be home. We don't really know what this video is going to be like, but I think David said filming wasn't really the priority. Um, but. But she's home until tomorrow morning and then we go back to the hospital and she gets some antibiotics to a drip and then we should find out more about what's went on and what's wrong but for now she's, she's home. home and she's feeling so much better today so we're going to end it here and try and get an early night and see how yeah. she does so um I'm not sure if we'll start a new for or continue tomorrow when we go to the hospital, but... We'll keep you updated. We'll keep you updated. Bye from us. Bye. Oh, Tilbert. Yeah.